Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to be going over how to tie a clinch knot. A clinch knot is good for when you're tying on a barrel swivel such as this. For those who do not know, this is a barrel swivel right here. It's going to serve as your connecting point between your braid and your leader. A clinch knot is also good for when you're tying your bucktail or your jig directly on. So I'm going to go over it a couple different times in a def couple different situations, how you're going to use it. So I'm going to show you how to do it from braid to leader to your jig or bucktail. Um, I will say that barrel swivels do come in different sizes. Just for um, teaching sake, I am going to be using a bigger size one. That way you guys can see it. I also do just want to put this out there with everything going on right now with the coronavirus. Um, all those small businesses that you see at your expos or your small mom pop tackle shops, keep them in mind with everything going on. All the guys who build bucktails, the guys who build rods, you guys who build reels, um, jigs, any anything tackle related or anything fishing related, get in touch with them. See if they're doing online orders. See if they are doing curbside pickups. See what they're doing. See if you can order for them because all those big companies like Dick's, Field and Stream, Spro, they'll recover from all this going on right now. They, everything will work out for them in the end. The small businesses right now, you don't know if they're struggling right now, if this is just their side hustle or if this is their means of living. So keep them in mind, give them the business. I will in the description put um, a list of people who are still functioning, whether it's small businesses or tackle shops or people who build rods, whatever it is, I'm gonna put them in uh, the description and hopefully you guys get in touch with them. That way you can give them some business while you have some cabin fever going on while we're all stuck inside. But I don't mean to bore you guys, but I really just felt that it was necessary to put that out there. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to take my barrel swivel and I'm going to take my braid and I'm going to feed it through, okay? So I'm going to give myself about three or four inches to work with of tag end, okay? So now I'm going to pinch it right above, right here. So now I'm, I'm pinching it, it's gonna create this V. So I'm going to take my tag end and start wrapping it around where I have it pinched. So I'm pinching it to keep a space for myself to put the tag end back through. So make sure you're giving yourself enough space. It's sometimes it, it'll disappear with the braid. So just try to keep it pinched until you get the hang of it. So we're gonna start wrapping around. We're gonna go out around eight times with the tag end over the main line. We're gonna go about eight times, like I said, with the braid and then I'll show you what to do with the mono. So we're on our third one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I am left with this. Now I'm going to take my tag end and feed it through that loop that I left open for myself. So now I'm going to take that tag end now that it's pulled through, I'm gonna hold it against the barrel swivel and I'm going to pull up on my main line while holding the tag end and the barrel swivel together in one grip. And I'm gonna pull up on the main line and pull down on the barrel swivel with the tag end. And that way it comes together. All right, so now we're locked in there and we're good. So you can either wrap it around your hand, pull it and test it. I like to just take a hook, that way I don't have to put too much stress on my hand with the line and pull like that. And that way you're good. And we're just gonna snip our tag end off, like we, like I've said to do in the last video. We're always gonna snip our tag ends off. Don't be lazy, especially when you're on party boats and whatnot. Um, you don't want tag ends on because you will tangle with somebody else. So be conscious of that because you will tangle with the person next to you. And then, especially when you have braid on, braid tangles are just basically a shit show for lack of better words. So we're gonna do the same exact thing with our mono now. And it's actually easier, so let me just say that when you're doing it, when you're practicing any knot, use mono to practice because it's a lot easier. So until you get it down, then you can move on to braid. But right now, if you got really nothing to do and you're not really um, fishing, go ahead and practice with the mono. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna feed it through. We're gonna give ourselves a couple inches, about three or four inches. And we're gonna pinch it again and we're gonna wrap it around with the mono you really don't have to go about eight times you don't really have to get up to eight times you can do about six and it would still work so i'm gonna wrap that tag end around the main line all right so now i'm gonna take that tag end 
and put it through that loop that I left open for myself where I pinched it. And now I'm gonna take that tag in once again and pinch it against the barrel swivel and hold the barrel swivel and the tag end together in one grip and pull up on the main line. So it's all gonna pull down together and it's gonna come down and there you go. Okay. So once again, we're gonna snip the tag ends off. So what's everybody up to? What's, what's, how's everybody's quarantine going? What are we, what are we doing to keep busy? Are we, I don't know, picking up a new hobby, cooking? Tell me, I need, I need something. I need some ideas besides doing these videos and cleaning the same rooms every day because I'm just getting bored. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna take about three to four feet of leader. I wouldn't go much more than that. And we're gonna cut the leader off from the spool. Now that I have that, I am going to tie a bucktail on. So this would be convenient for when I'm fluke fishing. This is an s, &S bucktail. The guy who makes it, his name is Stan. He is from Jersey. He has a bunch of stuff in his line. I'd definitely give him a look. Like I said, I'll be posting a description of all local people, small businesses who are available right now to cure cabin fever. So I'm going to do the same exact thing. By now it should be a little bit easier now that you've practiced twice and now we're also doing it again with the mono. So hopefully you get it down now. We're gonna feed it through that loop. We're gonna have yourself a couple inches. We're gonna pinch right here at the bottom and we're gonna wrap it around a couple times. So we're gonna wrap that tag in around the main line once again. So like I said, the mono, you only have to do a couple times. You don't really have to go up to eight. The more you do on mono, the harder it is to go down. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna take that tag in, feed it through the loop again. Hold it down. If you don't, if it's a little hard to hold down, I actually use my teeth a lot of times. It's a lot easier to grip. So I'm gonna hold the tag in with my mouth and hold the bucktail in my hand while pulling on the main line. And I pulled down and there you go. There you have it. You have your clinch knot. Like I said, still don't have a professional camera yet. So once I do, the videos will be a lot more clear. I will post a video of what it's supposed to look like or a picture I should say of what it's supposed to look like. So now everything, you should have your braid, your barrel swivel, your three feet of line to your bucktail. So as far as the bucktail goes, um, I would put a couple different things on here. I would either put a piece of gulp, which I know gulp is in um, small business, it is a big business, but I haven't really come across any small businesses yet that do make anything like gulp or do make something similar to it. So if somebody does know of a company though, feel free to let me know and I would be more than happy to support them and buy it. But um, we can also use a piece of fluke belly if you can get your hands on a piece of white and brown flute belly, get, do it. You'll take the um, flute belly, so you'll have a white piece and then a brown piece, and you'll have it sitting like this, and then put a piece of spearing in between the middle, and let me know how that works out for you. It's a pretty good trick that I was showing a couple years back. Um, hopefully a person doesn't kill me for showing you guys, but oh well. <laughs> Um, anyways, uh, you can also try a piece of squid and when I mean when I say squid I don't mean using the whole squid whole squid does work But I wouldn't use it on a bucktail using a whole squid You should be putting that on a plain hook. I know that worked a couple years back in Montauk That was like the hot thing to do But um, when I say put a piece of squid on it, you should use a, a squid strip so it's gonna be a long piece um, and then put a piece of spearing. When you're putting the spearing, don't put the spearing through the middle of the body. I don't know why people do that. Um, put it through the eyeballs because when you put a piece of spearing through the middle of the body, it actually looks like a helicopter repeller. It sits like it sits like that. So then it's gonna spin upwards on the line and it's never gonna reach the bottom. So that kind of defeats the whole purpose of bottom fishing. So make sure that the spearing goes through the eyeballs. Like I said, it will spin up on you and it won't stay on the bottom. So then you're gonna be wasting your time um, other than that, there's really nothing else that I personally put on. I typically do go with gulp. I honestly haven't touched bait in the past like two seasons. So anyways, I just hope all of you are staying healthy. I hope all of you are 
following the guidelines, staying inside. I know it's tough right now. I know it's rough. I mean, even fishing aside, I know this is uh, mentally draining. I know that some people do suffer from anxiety and depression and some people are alone right now, but just know that we're all together in this, we're all human. Um, so if anybody does need anything, fishing aside, feel free to reach out to me. I'm here for you guys. I'll be trying to put more videos up for distraction to keep you guys busy with something else to do besides just sitting around feeling trapped. So I really hope everybody is somewhat doing well. But like I said, feel free to reach out to me with any questions or just if you need to talk and just vent because everything going on right now, I'm here for you guys. So I hope you guys have a good day and I hope we get out there soon. I'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye.